Hey everyone, so we just completed today's interview where I interviewed uh, Kechi Okuchi for The Story of Becoming. And let me just say, this was by far, in my opinion, one of the most inspirational interviews I've ever done. Totally I, agree. The whole world knows about Kechi, right? Kechi is not new. We know her story. We know what happened to her in 2005. But to hear her just open up and tell you directly and tell me directly was just inspirational. And there were a lot of takeaways. A yes. lot of takeaways. And I'm going to start. I think you also shared this, Linda. One of the takeaways for me is how she said that she noticed that people are very resilient, but we don't realize how resilient we are. Yes. And, I, and I feel that way because I... I think that most people were so limited um, in how we think or when we reach our limit in life and trying to achieve something, we just give up not knowing yes. that we can actually keep pushing through. So did you, do you agree? Like, what I do you did think connect with that, um, especially when she said we always overcome and mm -hmm. we can actually overcome more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 100%. And even just how she talked about her story of um, becoming right the whole the whole journey you know what what she was like before the crash and then the crash happened and of course it was devastating she probably thought she was never gonna you know make, be who, it. make it or be who she is now and to see who she's become um when i asked her the question i said um would you change anything that's what i was getting at you really she wouldn't get, change it yeah only she would change that those 60 lives lost would be here. Yes, yes. But the the plane crash itself, the event itself, allowed her to become who she is. Exactly, exactly. And like I told her during the interview, I said, of course, like, you wouldn't change it because at 16, you don't know who you are. So it feels like whoever she was before the crash is non-existent. Right, because she was just a young girl, and I said she, that she talked about her voice. Yes, exactly. How it sounded so differently. Exactly. So, what can you change when? And she said, "It's gonna be like I'm taking a risk if I want to change anything." Did you remember yes. that part? You know, so it's like, how can you change what you don't know? You know, what else did that for you? That her purpose in life is to live it excellently. Mm. Excellently. Excellently. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> with with the um, tension of g taking on this second chance at life. Yes, yes. And that was when I asked her about the survivors. And I said, are you connected to the family? Um, and she said, you know, she is connected. They're always, like, cheering her on. And, you know, I saw a video where she gave her, her commencement. When she graduated, her commencement speech, she had said something along the lines of, I'm not just doing this for myself, but for everyone who was on that plane. Um, and so I think that's why she said she's decided to leave excellently just as um, paying homage to those people yes. and just respecting them that you didn't make it, but I made it. So let me, you know, um, just Give honor you. Life. Exactly. Yeah. Honor you guys for what you did. I, you know, this episode, I think everyone should watch. It's longer than what we yes. have recorded in the past, um, but it's going to be in part one and part two. And I think even, I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I think even just sharing the space with such a legend in my opinion is just i'm so grateful for it so i think everyone should go ahead and watch it once it comes out it is beyond inspirational especially the part where she gives you more intimate details on the flight mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. when she said that she hasn't said some of the things she said here ever before mm -hmm. you know so it was really good to see that she was opening up and very comfortable opening um, up opening yes because i thought it was going to get to you know how you don't want to wake old wounds. Yes. Um, but yes. another powerful part for me was the South African hospital yes. woke up singing. Yes. 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 Her yes. mom sung to her throughout the entire yes. ordeal yes. of her being comatose. Yes. And she said, you know, those are songs that she never knew prior to being in coma, but her mom was singing it to her and then she woke up singing the same song. And what she said, in connection to that is you never know what people in that state are receiving mm -hmm. right and i think that's something we can take with us because i'm not praying for anyone to be in coma or any family yes. member but you know sometimes you just feel like well they're like we say in nigeria they're vegetables and that's the end for them but you never know what kind of power and energy you're passing across to them in that state and what they're receiving to really become um, stronger again and you could take it as a symbol as well you mm -hmm. know when you're constantly trying to pick at that one person who's not listening to you. Yes, yes, there, yes, There yes. has to be some, at some point that they're receiving something. Exactly. And you know me, I'm going to just say, I feel like God is all over her life. I mean, it was, she even said it, right? She, mm -hmm. She's, you know, 
God has just watched her. And I feel like this happened for a reason. And I don't know, I, I don't know if this is where she said it or I've heard it several times, but she said um, she wouldn't have been this person if not for the crash, right? What would her life have been? Just basically just normal, like every day. Yes. Like she probably like wouldn't us. even have, like, oh, <laughs> we're basic, we're basic and normal. But anyway, um, any last thing before we close out? Because this has been a good uh, recap. Yeah. I would just stay tuned for her episode and she does leave us with a little gift as well exactly stay tuned we don't want to give any more spoilers and thank you guys for watching this this recap of uh the story of becoming catchy Gucci. <laughs>